so I just recorded this entire video and I just realized my face was out of the camera, which is absolutely fantastic. So the season I'm in right now, if you're a Christian, you know what I'm talking about. You don't even have to be a Christian, you could know what I'm talking about. But I've been in this season in my life where God has really been addressing my fear of death and just fear in general, but really highlighting death because death is my number one fear. Well, going to hell is my number one fear, but it kind of like leads into it, so you know. Yeah. Okay, so my, one of my boyfriend's, no oh God. My, my boyfriend's family member, one of his family members, uh, died recently. It reminded me of a death that I had to deal with eight months ago. And it really made me reflect on the death and reflect on just death itself. And also, I just feel called to like be more friendly to people because lately, I guess I've been so nervous of being pushed away by people that I just don't talk to them. Lately, in the past like two years, I've kind of just been drifting away from everyone. I, like I haven't been talking to people as much. I don't know if anybody like noticed that and maybe like stepped away or they just didn't care or whatever, they didn't notice. There are a few explanations as to why I've been acting like this and doing the things that I'm doing. But one thing I did a few days ago was text all of my contacts. Most of them. All the way up to like the P's because I just got like really tired. It was like 1 a.m. I had like 200 notifications. Every time I texted somebody back, I get another text message. It just kept going and going and going. And then I had to end all my conversations. I was like, listen, I gotta go to bed. I can't keep doing this. Yeah, and plus I'm, I much rather prefer phone calls, but I wasn't just gonna call like 200 people. Let's see how many contacts I actually had. 467 contacts. I have like all of these people. I just want to talk to people and just be friendly because that's just the kind of person I am. I got mixed results. Some people just didn't respond. Some people I had like a little conversation with and it was cool. Some people like I was talking to, I was talking to them and then they just stopped responding. It's whatever. But I just want to like say hi and use the opportunity to just talk to people I haven't really talked to in a while. I was on a plane for the first time. I wasn't like really scared, but I was just like a little bit nervous. God's just really been using death in my life to really teach me a lot of lessons. And I was reading this book. No, the day before my boyfriend's family member passed away, I got this book and I started reading it. And it's by Sadie Robertson and it's about fear. And there was this excerpt that I found that really touched my heart and I shared it with my friends. And they were like, oh my gosh, I needed that. Or just like, or like my pastor was talking about that a few days ago or like yesterday or something like that. That was really crazy. And so like I really knew that, I know that this was God. Because God is so good and he just works like that and it's great. Okay, so it reads, you can discover what your enemy fears most by observing the means he uses to frighten you. To put this thought in a Christian context, the enemy is afraid of your becoming everything God wants you to be. Because he's afraid of that, he tries to make you afraid of it too. If you can identify what the enemy wants you to fear, that's the very thing you need to go after with faith. I think that's amazing. And I think it's great. And you need to follow it. So I'm going to encourage every one of you today, if you got a fear that you just can't get over, go address it. You know my film about fear? Yeah, go watch that again. We'll figure this thing out. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. God willing, I'll see you. So I'm just going to... Oh. Yeah.